guys, so I did a little experiment this week. Actually, it took more like two weeks to do this project, but I was really excited about it and I was inspired by all the Halloween decor that I've been seeing. As most of you guys probably already know, I have a wine bottle collection that I've always wanted to do something really cool with. So, finally, I have done something useful with them. I have here some wine bottle candle holders with dripping wax. It is very beautiful. Aesthetically, I do absolutely adore this. Um, I feel like the work that I put into it was really well worth it. Though the process in creating it, I would say I will probably want to do something a little bit different next time. Um, for example, the wax is still not as solid as I would like it to be. I'm still very nervous about handling these bottles because I don't want the wax to fall off. As you will see, I did put a lot into making the, the drips on these bottles and um, I don't want to break it. Also, I probably wouldn't put another uh, wax dripping candle inside, especially this kind, because it was pink. I was expecting it to be more of a red, since it's called a bleeding candle, but it looks a little too pink. If that is your thing, go ahead and go for it if you'd like. But other than that, I am very pleased with the way these two have both turned out. So if you are interested, just keep on watching this video. I will walk you through the entire process, everything that I did. Hopefully you can be inspired by it and take something away from it. Maybe try this yourself and put your own twist on it if you'd like. So if you find that you really like my project and the effort that I put into this, please feel free to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I do post videos once a week. So until then, stay spooky and I'll see you again next time. Bye! So the first thing you're going to need is a black trash bag to protect the surface that you will be doing this project on. Unfortunately, I picked a very windy day to do this, so I have some tape and some rocks to kind of hold it down, keep it from blowing away. So for this project, you're also going to need some wine bottles. So here's two that I've cleaned up real nice, took the labels off and you're going to need some black spray. Make sure it's compatible with glass and some dripping candles. I'll link the description below. I got these online and if you're interested, I'll put that there for you. And a small knife. So I'm going to start by just spraying the entire bottle in black. I'm not gonna be a perfectionist here because I know that the wax is going to drip over all of it and cover it up. Here are the candles I'm going to be using. Now I want them to fit nice and snug into the neck of the wine bottle. So I'm just shaving away just enough to get it to fit in there comfortably. Because if I'm going to light these, I want to make sure it's not going to be falling off and you're going anywhere. So yeah, nice and snug is what we're looking for. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. I think this part is done and we can move on to the next step, which is lighting them. All right, they're lit now and as you can kind of see, they've just started to drip immediately. The black looks amazing, but I did notice the wax on these candles were melting pretty fast. And unfortunately, the wicks were also very crooked. They were not center at all. I don't know if that was done on purpose or not, but because of this, the wax was only dripping down one side and I did not want this. So I had to go in with um, some matches and uh, lighters and such because I wanted to kind of help out the wax a little bit, direct it to be dripping down different sides of the bottle. In a way, it's a happy accident <laughs> because I could better control where I wanted the wax to fall. As you can see, the dripping effect is happening very well. 
I was very pleased with the way this is looking. Maybe there's an easier way to do this. I don't really know, but this technique has been working so far. So I was prepared for these candles to be just for the dripping effect. I did not expect these to just sit and burn slowly. So this is perfect. So one mistake I made that next time I will take into consideration is that if you let the flame burn like inside the neck of the bottle, I relit the one on the right and it started to melt the wax away from the top of the bottle and I w wasn't really looking for that. I should have just stopped here. See, I lit it and it started to melt. Next time though, I won't let it burn so far down into the bottle. We're gonna bring back that little knife and we're going to gently, very, very gently scrape out the wax inside these bottles because we wanna make sure that it's hollow in there so we can stick new candles in because this is a candle holder after all. Now be very gentle, the wax is soft, which is why I got this spray adhesive. Um, it was just something we had laying around. I figured, you know what, this, this, wa this wax needs something to protect it, make it a little more stronger, a little more resistant against getting bumped. I didn't like how soft it was, so I put like three layers of this glue hoping to make it stronger and it did work as you can see it's got this great texture to it I actually really like that and the wax is a lot more stiffer not not totally stiff but stiff enough that if you tap it it's not going anywhere I bought these bleeding candles um, I wanted to see whether these really would bleed or not as you can see it is red inside just trimming them down to fit snugly in that bottle I was debating whether or not to use dripping candles again, but I got the curiosity got the better of me and I figured, hey, let's try it. If I don't like it, I will do this again without the dripping candles. But who knows, maybe I'll like the red when it if it drips down onto the bottles. They started dripping pretty quickly. They did need a little bit of help to go over the edge because unlike the other candles, they are very centered. The wicks are very centered. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this burn and we'll see what happens. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> no! 